I've always been fascinated by business and loved learning about different companies, so I dove into investing. For months, I spent four to six hours every day devouring every book, blog, and article I could find. But here's the thing. I wasn't really investing just to invest. I wanted what investing could give me. Financial freedom, time freedom, and the ability to live life on my terms. That's likely what you want too. After tons of research, I realized ETFs, exchange-traded funds, were exactly what I needed. What are ETFs? ETFs are collections of stocks bundled into a single fund, offering diversification that reduces your risk. Honestly, they're so straightforward your grandma could manage one, and she's probably outperforming half of Wall Street. In this video, I'll walk you through three ETFs that I believe form the foundation of a perfect portfolio. For each type of ETF, I'll give you two great options so you can choose what works best for you. But first, let's talk about three simple rules. For ETF investing, three rules. For ETF investing, success. One, don't pick both ETFs in the same category. It's tempting to buy multiple ETFs within the same category, but all that does is spread your money too thin and add unnecessary stress. Two, define your investment goals. Ask yourself what you're investing for. Is it a big nest egg for retirement decades from now, a mix of growth and income you can access in 10 to 20 years, or immediate passive income? Your goals will guide your choices. Three, be consistent. Consistency is key. Decide how much you can comfortably invest each month, say $250 and automate it. Over 40 years, $250 a month can grow to over $1.3 million and that's before factoring in dividends. First ETF category, S&P 500 and total stock market ETFs. This category forms the foundation of any well-rounded investment portfolio. It represents either the entire stock market or the largest companies in the US, offering a strong base of diversification and stability. These ETFs are like the building blocks of your portfolio, ensuring that your investments are tied to the broader market's performance. Let's dive into the two standout ETFs in this category, VTI, the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF, and VOO, the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. VTI is an excellent choice if you're looking for exposure to the entire U.S. stock market. Here's why it stands out. Broad diversification VTI includes over 4,000 individual stocks, covering large cap, mid cap, and small cap companies. This means you're investing in everything from industry giants like Apple and Microsoft to smaller, up-and-coming companies with growth potential. Low Costs it has an ultra-low expense ratio of just 0.03%. This is one of the lowest fees you'll find, meaning more of your money stays invested and grows over time. Strong returns. Over the past 10 years, VTI has delivered an average annual return of around 11%. While past performance doesn't guarantee future results, this track record highlights the fund's reliability. VTI's greatest strength is its inclusivity. By owning this ETF, you're essentially investing in the entire U.S. economy, capturing the growth of various sectors and industries. It's a great way to ensure your portfolio reflects the overall market. VOO is another incredible option, offering a more focused approach. Here's what you need to know. Concentration on leaders. VOO tracks the S&P 500, which consists of the 500 largest publicly traded companies in the U.S. These companies dominate their industries and represent about 80% of the total U.S. stock market by market capitalization. Cost efficiency. Like VTI, VOO also boasts an expense ratio of just 0.03%, making it a highly affordable option. Slight edge in returns. Over the past decade, VOO has outperformed VTI slightly, with an average annual return of around 11.5%. This is because the S&P 500 focuses exclusively on large cap companies, which tend to be more stable and profitable. VOO's strength lies in its focus. It's a great pick for investors who want to target the top performing companies that are driving the U.S. economy. Which one should you choose? Both VTI and VOO are outstanding ETFs, and you can't go wrong with either. However, the choice often comes down to personal preference and investment style. If you want maximum diversification and exposure to the entire U.S. market, VTI is your go-to. It captures growth from smaller companies that could become tomorrow's leaders. If you prefer to focus on proven market leaders with consistent performance. VOO is the better choice. It emphasizes stability and the power of established companies. Personally, I lean toward VOO because of its targeted approach. As someone who appreciates the strength of established businesses, I like knowing my investments are tied to the companies leading the U.S. economy. 
That said, VTI offers the advantage of broader exposure, making it an excellent option for investors who want to cast a wider net. Second ETF category, Growth Growth ETFs. Growth ETFs are the exciting, high potential corner of the investment world. These funds focus on companies poised for rapid expansion, often driven by innovation and emerging technologies. While they offer incredible upside, it's important to note that growth ETFs can also experience more volatility compared to other types of funds. They may see sharp increases during strong market conditions, but can face steep declines when the market dips. That said, for investors with a long-term horizon and a higher risk tolerance, growth ETFs can be a powerful addition to a portfolio. Option 1. QQQ, the Invesco QQQ Trust. QQQ is a heavyweight in the growth category, known for tracking the NASDAQ 100 index. This index includes 100 of the largest non-financial companies listed on the NASDAQ stock market. Here's why QQQ stands out. Tech and Innovation Focus. QQQ is heavily weighted toward technology, a sector known for driving much of the market's growth in recent years. It includes leading companies in artificial intelligence, cloud computing, virtual reality, augmented reality, and blockchain technologies. Top Holdings Companies like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and NVIDIA dominate its portfolio, making QQQ a bet on some of the most innovative businesses in the world. Historical Performance Over the last 10 years, QQQ has delivered an impressive average annual return of about 16%. Expense ratio. At 0.20%, its expense ratio is higher than some other ETFs, but still reasonable considering the performance it offers. Option 2. VUG the Vanguard Growth ETF. VUG is another excellent choice for growth-oriented investors. It provides exposure to a broader selection of high-growth companies compared to QQQ. Here's what makes VUG unique. Broader diversification. With over 250 holdings, VUG is more diversified than QQQ, which can help reduce risk slightly while still capturing significant growth opportunities. Focus on high-quality growth stocks. VUG includes companies with strong potential for earnings growth, making it a solid choice for long-term investors. Top Holdings while there's overlap with QQQ in its largest positions like Apple and Microsoft, VUG also includes companies across other sectors that have strong growth trajectories. Expense Ratio One of VUG's biggest strengths is its ultra-low expense ratio of 0.04%, making it five times cheaper than QQQ. Historical Performance VUG has delivered an average annual return of about 12.9% over the past 10 years, which is slightly lower than QQQ, but still very strong. Comparing QQQ and VUG, both QQQ and VUG have performed remarkably well over the past decade. But they cater to slightly different preferences. Higher returns versus lower cost. QQQ has outpaced VUG in terms of raw returns, but its higher expense ratio eats into those gains. VUG offers a more cost-effective option with returns that are only slightly lower. Concentration versus diversification. QQQ is more concentrated, with a heavy tilt toward large-cap tech companies. VUG, with its broader range of holdings, provides more diversification while still maintaining a strong focus on growth. Risk and volatility. Because QQQ leans heavily on tech, it tends to be more volatile, especially during market downturns. VUG's broader diversification can provide a bit more stability without sacrificing growth potential. Why growth ETFs matter? Growth ETFs like QQQ and VUG play a crucial role in any balanced portfolio. They offer exposure to sectors and companies that are shaping the future. From cutting edge technologies to emerging business models. Whether you choose QQQ for its higher returns or VUG for its lower cost and broader diversification, both funds are excellent ways to capture the long-term potential of the market's most dynamic companies. For investors who are comfortable with a bit more risk and have a long-term investment horizon, growth ETFs can be an exciting and rewarding addition to their strategy. Just remember to balance your portfolio to ensure you're not overexposed to volatility. Third ETF category, Dividend ETFs. This category focuses on generating consistent passive income. VYM, the Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF, includes around 450 companies with strong dividends. It has a dividend yield of 3.39% and an expense ratio of 0.06%. SCHD, the Schwab U.S. Dividend ETF, offers a higher dividend yield of 3.73% and consistent returns over 3, 5, and 10 years. It also has an expense ratio of 0.06%. Both are excellent, but I favor SCHD for its consistency and slightly higher yield. These three categories, S&P 500 Total Stock Market, Growth, and Dividend ETFs, 
cover everything you need for a balanced, effective portfolio. Pick one ETF from each category, stick to the rules, and you'll be on your way to financial freedom. Invest smart, stay consistent, and enjoy the journey. Let's crush it together.